Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to go over how to use a reusable K-cup on this Cuisinart 2-in-1 coffee center. This is a dual brew. It's got a coffee maker on one side and it's got a K-cup machine on the other side. Check out my detailed video where I go over all the, all the how to use this machine with the coffee, how to make a pot of coffee, how to use the K-cup side. But today we're going to, go, we're going to talk about the reusable K-cup. So if you want to use your own coffee grounds on the K-cup side. So what comes with the coffee maker is this. This is their uh, style. Cuisinart sells this is their style of reusable uh, K-cup. And it's a, it's a wire filter. You're going to put your coffee grounds in there. It holds two and a half tablespoons of coffee grounds. And then you're going to put it in this gray case. You're going to close the lid. And then we're going to put it up in the machine where the needle the needle's going to go down there and coffee's going to come out the bottom. But in order to put it in, we've got to take out this K-cup basket. So we need to poke up from the bottom is what I found. That's the best thing. Be careful, there is a sharp needle there, but it's not sharp on the bottom. So once we've got that out, now we can put that in. And then when we close it, it's going to brew a cup of coffee with your own coffee grounds. But I'm also going to show you about this perfect pod reusable k-cup so this is a little different style it's the same size as a normal k-cup so we can leave i like these a little bit better because we can leave the this is the needle basket so when you go to put this in it's got a big white arrow and there's a white arrow there just line up the arrows and then kind of push on the sides and it'll be nice and even when you close it there's no force so these, we can just put right where that goes. It's got a little recessed area that the needle's not gonna puncture the bottom of it because it's kind of recessed. And then it's got a place for the top needle to go. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do, I wanna brew just a normal K-cup. And I'm gonna brew a normal K-cup just so I can show you the comparison when I do the reusable K-cup and then the Cuisinart one. So I'm going to brew, I brew my K-cups, since there's two tablespoons of coffee in there, I brew them on the 8-ounce setting. So all my brews today will be on the 8-ounce setting. So with the K-cup, you have a coffee in, in about a minute from the machine. Comes out as a nice steady stream. Okay, so the K-cup's done. I'm going to set it here, and we're going to cut it open, and I'll compare it. Okay, so next, this, we're going to use this perfect pod. And we can leave that needle basket in there when we use this. So this is Amazon's number two best-selling reusable K-cup. Now they sell these paper filters that go that are that are made to fit right in there. Now you don't have to use a paper filter. You can put the coffee grounds right in there and brew your brew your coffee. But I'm going to show you when you use a paper filter, you don't get sediment in your coffee. So when you put the paper filter in, you want to make sure and push it down. We need to make room for two tablespoons of coffee. It's okay if the filter sticks above because when we close it, we can sandwich the filter between there and there. This has a nice O-ring. We wanna make sure and get this nice and tight. So the coffee ground you're gonna be using is just a, like for a normal um, coffee maker, ground coffee. It's ground to a medium grind. You don't want anything too coarse. You won't taste the flavor. You don't want anything too fine. Uh, it won't go through the K-cup. So, the people that make this perfect pod K-cup, they also have, they, they sell this scoop. It's called the Easy Scoop, and I really do like it. It's exactly two tablespoons. That's the same amount that's in a normal K-cup, is two tablespoons. I like to put just a little bit less because that paper filter takes up some room. So now we're just, this thing's got this nice little thing, lid you put on. You just dump it right in the middle. Okay, it's okay if it mounds up a little bit. Don't, don't compact it, just let it sit there. And then you're gonna close the lid. Make sure you don't get any coffee grounds underneath the lid. We want that to close nice and tight. And verify that it's nice and tight all the way around, no coffee grounds in. Now you do get some coffee grounds up here. I normally just dump those right in there. Make sure there's no coffee grounds on the outside of it or it will make its way into your drink. Now we can treat this just like a normal K-cup. Again, we can leave the needle basket in. We just set it in there. It sits nice and flush. The needles aren't going to pierce anything. The needle's just going to go down into that little hole 
And again, this has a recessed area for that needle to sit into. So we just close this. And then again, I like to do the eight ounce brew. And in about a minute, you'll have a cup of coffee with your own coffee grounds. So K-cups cost about 50 cents to 75 cents. When you use a reusable K-cup, you can brew a cup of coffee for about 20 to 25 cents. So about half the cost. Again, it comes out in a nice steady stream. After it's done, we just lift the lid. Be careful, this could be hot. And then I'm going to go over cleanup. So here's cleanup on this reusable K-cup. I really do like these ones. I think they do a good job. You do have to clean up some of the lid, but with this paper filter, there's what we've got. So this is the reusable K-cup that comes with the Cuisinart coffee maker. This is pretty standard. Cuisinart um, sells this with other uh, Keurig machines. But inside this gray container, we've got the, the filter. And again, that's a wire mesh filter. I don't know if they sell a paper filter. I've looked. I can't find a paper filter for inside here. So you just have to put the coffee grounds in here. Now, this does hold a little bit more coffee grounds. It, it does have a line. It's really hard to see. It doesn't have like a max line. Uh, or, I mean, like the words max. But two and a half tablespoons is the maximum amount of coffee. And that's right about to there. So I'm going to use my Perfect Pod scoop. So I know my scoop is two tablespoons. I'm going to grab two tablespoons. Put the lid. You know, even this scoop does work good with this uh, filter. I'm going to put it in there. And I can see I got a little bit more room to go before I reach that line. So it does hold two and a half tablespoons. But I like to put just two tablespoons in it. Then I'm going to put it in the, the container. I'm going to close the lid. I've got to come over here. I got to do that extra step. I got to poke up from the bottom. I got to take this needle basket out. And then I'm going to put this in. It sits nice and flush. You do have to use a little extra force when you close this. Not much, just a little bit. And again, I like to do it on the eight ounce. It comes out at a pretty nice stream. I do notice that this reusable K-cup, it does splatter maybe just a little bit more. Not too bad, though. Okay, in about a minute, you've got a uh, cup of coffee, again, with your own coffee grounds. So again, let's go over cleanup. We just lift the lid. Be careful, these can be hot. We're just going to open up this. It did a pretty good job with the coffee grounds. We lift this out. We're gonna have to wash the gray thing. And there's the coffee grounds out. You're gonna have to wash this too. But it did a pretty good job with the coffee grounds too, you can tell. So I'm gonna cut this cake up open because I wanna show you what's on the inside of it too. So the coffee sits, I cut the bottom off, it sits in a, in a paper filter. So now I cut the top off, and again, there's two tablespoons. There's two tablespoons of coffee that sit inside a paper filter, like a paper coffee filter. So I'm not, I'm not an expert coffee taster, but these all taste pretty much the same to me. Um, I don't notice that big of a difference between a reusable K-cup and a um, normal K-cup. When you use your own coffee grounds, it might taste a little bit better, but again, I'm not an expert. The biggest advantage is, is the cost savings. And it is a little more environmentally friendly because um, you've got to recycle that plastic and that aluminum foil. Okay, so I've got all three coffees here. I'm going to dump these out and we'll see if there's any sediment in the bottom of the coffee mug. 
and the right one here this is this is with no paper filter this one I used that and then the other one's the K cup so let's start by dumping it in there's just that there is just a just a little bit of sediment in there not much at all that's the K cup okay let's do the reusable pink K cup now Just a little bit and a couple coffee grounds. Not too bad. Okay, so now let's do the Cuisinart one without a paper filter. Again, I don't know if sediment is good or bad for you. I just want to show you because it kind of... I really didn't know what was going on at first. So see at the bottom, you do get quite a bit of, of sediment. That's what a paper filter... When you use a paper filter, that's what the paper filter prevents. Now you don't get any big coffee grounds, it's just sediment. So I really like the Perfect Pod with the Easy Scoop and with the paper filters. That's my go-to when I want to use a reusable K-Cup. I mean the Cuisinart one is a, is a very good reusable K-Cup, but you do get just a little bit, of, you know, you do get quite a bit of sediment in your coffee mug. So this one's the closest to a normal K-cup. Again, half the price when you use your own coffee grounds, but it's a little bit more work, a little bit more cleanup work. I hope the video helps. If you've got any questions on these reusable K-cups, leave them in the comments down below. I'll try to help you out. Thanks, everybody, for watching. And if you could, please like and subscribe.